We always wanted to put Strikes at Zero on console. We were originally thinking of PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. However, with the announcement and subsequent release of PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, we knew that we could target those platforms and do so much more. With the announcement of the Idea Xbox program, it meant that now we could develop and publish, just like we do on PlayStation, on Xbox platforms for the very first time. Strike Suit Zero Director's Cut is really important for us because as an independent developer, what we've been able to do is take our own game and instead of just leaving it on the shelf, it's actually update, improve, listen to the feedback, listen to the critics and do something about it. So with the Director's Cut, we've restructured the campaign changing the first quarter of the game so you can get into the action more quickly and crucially into the strike suit more quickly. We've taken the artwork, we've up and changed a whole load of it, making it look a whole heap better and taking account of the power that we now have at our hands. So to address some of the feedback from our community and from some of our critics, we've also re-recorded some of the voice acting and replaced some of the voice actors. Overall, with these changes and a host of other improvements throughout the game, I think you'll find that Strikes at Zero Director's Cut is the definitive version. Basically we've restructured the first three missions to gently ease people into each aspect of the gameplay as they encounter it. So whereas previously we introduced the players to the strike suit and then threw them into this intense multi-capital ship battle, which was amazing if you understood how to use the strike suit, we now give you a chance to get to learn how to transform, how to gain flux, how to adapt the ship. And this gives players a much easier right into understanding how the strike suit works, its strengths and weaknesses, and how best to use it. So we've had a lot of small conversations and small scenes in the context of the game that expand out the story and join the dots between the characters and the reasons that you're in this situation. Uh, these were alluded to before, um, uh, but now things are a lot more explicit and much as you see in a film director's cut, these are small elements that help, hopefully, make a much better story. We've put a lot of effort into improving the look of Strike Suit Zero before the director's cut. Um, we've particularly focused on improving the look of the ships. Um, we've remodelled pretty much all the ships from scratch, uh, this time throwing a lot more polys at them and ditching the old tiling textures for custom maps. Um, We've also adjusted the art style slightly. Um, this time we're bringing in more realistic uh, military and industrial references. Um, hopefully you pick up a, a modern day navy feel for the UNE ships and the colonials should feel a bit more uh, commercial, big corporation. So we've also added image-based lighting to the engine, which allows us to have nice reflections for polished surfaces, giving our metal more naturalistic look. One of my favourite visual updates are the modelled in cockpits, complete with pilot, which really help communicate scale throughout the game. As a developer, there's always, uh, there's always things you want to go back and change. There's always things that you feel uh, you didn't quite get right, especially when you have a limited time to get the game out. I think things like, uh, it's easy to take an adaptation of the game to a new platform as a port, as a, a version of the same thing. But I think we found it as a way to resolve those issues, to address concerns that we had, or even or alters, things we found on the forums. And as a result, it's, it's been great because we've been able to polish the game that we love and improve it. So as you may have heard, Born Ready Games was flooded over Christmas. Christmas Eve, knee-height brown water came in the offices and uh, did a lot of damage. Uh, it destroyed uh, computers, power, network, everything that was downstairs and on the floor was pretty much ruined. However, a lot of the guys came in and we worked really hard throughout the period of the Christmas holidays to get the place up and running. Personally for me and some of the other guys, we had personal items around the office. I have a shelf full of toys, some developers do have these kinds of things, um, and on the shelf were some really nice books, some Star Wars books, some art books, uh, all kinds of things I've collected over the years, and also uh, a really nice box full of my old collectible card games, Star Wars, Battletech, Legend of the Five Rings, some really nice things which, although insurance covers some things here, some things are just irreplaceable. However, that hard work meant that we were able to move all the guys upstairs. It's a much smaller space, but we were able to create an ad hoc network, get enough power, get enough desks together, that crucially we could get back on with making the Strikes Zero Director's Cut. 
There's plenty more cool things to talk about that are going on here at Born Ready Games, so please do check back often. And thank you for watching.